Welcome to the vlog. Uh, this is vlog 26. I'm Willie. I'm here in the kitchen. About to do some chicken wing prep. Shoot. Guys, I don't have my apron right now, so like I said in a previous vlog, if you enter the kitchen without an apron, you're a fool. I'm a fool right now, sorry. Um, my hands are clean. I got some chicken wings here to prepare. So that's just what we're gonna do. So we got our wings here all thawed out, ready to be prepared. I'm gonna pat these guys dry. There's nothing like a wing before it's been prepared, I'm telling you. Just getting uh, all that moisture off, right? Sorry that um, you could see both the tripods in the shot. I'm not happy about that, but I also don't want to have to spend too much time figuring out how I could solve that problem. So there we go. We patted all our wings dry. Now we're going to throw them in this bowl. And one by one, we're going to separate these wings like this. So first, find your joint here at your tip. Cut that, flip it over, get a better look at the joint on the back side. Alright, so I'm cutting the skin so I can get a little bit closer to that joint. I'm going to break the joint and then just follow right through with my knife. There you go. You got your flat and your drum. So I'll get back to you guys once I get through all these wings. All right guys, so we got all those wings separated. Now we're gonna move on to our seasonings. I've decided to do two different. I'm gonna do a Cajun seasoning and then I'm gonna do like just a classic barbecue smoked wing basic, you know? So let's go through the ingredients for our Cajun recipe. Tablespoon baking powder, three eighths of a teaspoon ground thyme instead of dried thyme. Quarter teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon paprika, quarter teaspoon oregano leaves, eighth of a teaspoon cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon garlic powder, quarter teaspoon cumin, half a teaspoon onion powder, quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, but this is iodized salt, doesn't matter. So that's it for everything that's going into our Cajun recipe, and I'll get back to you for our classic barbecue smoked recipe. Goodbye. All right guys, so right here we've got our little mixture of spices for our Cajun seasoning. We're gonna throw this in and get it mixed into those wings good. Make sure everybody gets a little taste. Here we are. We got our wings all kind of mixed up pretty good. I'm gonna throw these in a plastic bag here and put them in the fridge till tomorrow. And there's our Cajun wings ready for the fridge. Uh, minimum eight hours that they wanna be in the seasoning. Alrighty guys, so we got our second batch of barbecue wings here. For these, I just uh, did a half a tablespoon of baking powder, a nice tablespoon of some typical barbecue rub, same stuff I used on my brisket, I liked it a lot. And then, just for fun, I threw in a shot of some Italian dressing and a shot of barbecue sauce that I thought would pair well with my barbecue dry rub. The reason for that is just because I want these to be like nice and moist and uh, that's what they're going to be. So we got all of those mixed in there. We're going to throw this in the fridge next to the other one and, and then we're going to get at it tomorrow and these should take maybe uh, two hours or so to smoke up until they're done. So that's pretty easy preparation for those wings. Uh, the only thing I have to do tomorrow is I have to make a sauce for those Cajun wings. Those are going to need something. The barbecue ones will be pretty, pretty uh, ready to go. Uh, after I smoke them I'll probably just put a light coating of barbecue sauce to shake it up in there. And then that's it guys. You just at that point, just eat them. Yeah, see ya. Who's ever heard of the Black Fo Boston Forest? The Bar Barston Forest. First activity for the day, going to the Boston Forest, uh, approximately 20 minutes from our house. It's in Boston, in case you couldn't connect those two there. Nobody cares about that. Stop interrupting my thing. Okay, Boston, New York, even though everybody who's watching this knows that I live in New York, probably, 
We brought some snacks and drinks just in case we get lost out there. See you guys there. Here we go, guys. Just entered the trail. All right, guys, we got a little bit. All right, guys, we got a little bit off the trail. But this is the road that we parked on, so we just got to go all the way back up to our parking spot. Oh my gosh, guys. Why did I wear a waffle shirt and a flannel? I'm like on fire right now. At least I got my zip-up hiker pants on. Because those are always cool. I think my mom's jealous. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to play croquet. I'm about to walk the course and show you what's up. Start here. Through here. This way. Through here. You got that? Around this post. You see it? Okay. Up here. Under the chair. There's one under the chair. You see it? over this route and then here's the end and the tree is pretty much like the stake pretty hard course you know we don't fool around here <laughs> 